Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. All right, I know I look a mess, but I'm doing something really exciting today. And I had to document it because it's a really big deal to me. And like when I say it's a really big deal, I mean like, I'm gonna explain everything, why it's such a big deal. But today I'm getting my hair cut and I have had the same haircut literally all my life. Like not even joking. So not just any haircut, okay? It's a big, big change for me and I am extremely emotionally attached to my hair. Like I definitely rely way too much of like my physical appearance validation on my hair. So this is a really, really big deal to me and I need to get my makeup ready so I can go feel good in this new haircut because I really hope I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get ready and explain this whole big hair transformation to you. So let's just hop into it because I don't have a lot of time to get ready, but I really want to look good, you know, like for my haircut, like a big change. I like need to have at least my face looking good if my hair looks busted after. So let's just hop into getting ready and I'll explain everything while I do. Okay, so I've got my headband on. Let's just hop into this. I'm gonna start by putting just some sunscreen on. Not really gonna explain all the products I'm using, um, just cause I have a lot of other things to talk about, a lot to cover here. So basically, this is the haircut inspo I'm going for. And obviously it's bombshell on the girl in the photo. And like, that's what I'm hoping I'll look like. <laughs> obviously I don't look like her, but I want my hair to look like that and it's a really big change. I'm getting bangs, okay? So I'm getting a pretty drastic, I would say, hair transformation. Depending on your view of bangs, it's either somebody's going through something and they need bangs or, I don't know. It is a big change, it's a big change. So I am very nervous and excited. I've been wanting to do a big change with my hair for pretty much, I would say like a full year now. And my original plan was to dye my hair red but I have box black hair dye all over my head. Um, it's grown out about this much. So as you can tell, my hair is basically black already, but I just, it shines brown in the light and I just always wanted like to have that really, you know, sultry black, like vixen hair. And so that's what I've been living with for the past six months or six months. For the past six years, I just am bored of it. So I wanted to dye my hair like a pretty red color, like this very, cause I, I know, I know in 2023, red is going to be everywhere. All the models, I see a ton of models already with that hair color and they slay because they're models and they could do anything. But I just think it's gonna come back like in a really big way, like not the copper color, like that had its moment in 2022. I'm talking like cherry cola, deep red and then also like bright red, like rich reds. I think they're gonna be everywhere in 2023. I'm calling it right now. And I, I wanna be on that trend so bad, but it's just not in the cards for me because I've dyed my hair black so many times with box dye at home. I went to two different salons, like nice quality salons and got opinions from the hairdressers there. And they basically refused to touch my hair with bleach because they took strands, tried it, and it was just impossible to get the black out. So. It's just not in the cards for me, which is very, very sad. I really want my makeup to look really good, obviously, because I'm going through a big hair change. So I'm gonna use like all my favorite products. Um, if you're interested in knowing what my favorite products are, let me know in the comments below. I can totally make a video on all my favorite things I'm using for makeup, like my top, top ones when I know I wanna look snatched all day at night because it's noon now and my haircut's not till 7 p.m. tonight, um, so. We have a long day to contemplate whether or not this is a good idea, but I'm going through with it no matter what. But because I dyed my hair black box, like, and I want a color change, that's just not happening for me. So the black hair dye is just really keeping me from my hair color experience that I am dreaming of, but that's okay because I am a fan of wigs and I do have a couple um, wigs that I like. I have a coppery one and I have a pretty like cute pink one. So when I feel like a change, I can always wear those and they do look pretty good. Maybe I'll do a video of me with them on sometime just to show you like that they still look good. Like wigs still give me that vibe that I like of having new hair, 
but I am just ready for like the real real thing but because of the hair dye I have on my hair already that is just not happening so this is where we're at. I desperately need a change with my hair. I've been thinking about bangs on and off for probably two years now. I've tried clip-in ones. I like those. I know that bangs are like upkeep, right? So, you know, you kind of have to get them cut often if you want them to stay the length that they're at. But I'm ready to commit. I'm just ready to commit. I've talked about it, like I said, for years now and I've always been close to doing it, but literally not because I've never actually done it. But today I have the appointment with I'm a hairdresser that I know is going to do a good job. It's at a nice salon that I've been to when I was getting the color opinion on whether or not I could get my hair colored. I have a good feeling about the hairdresser I'm going to see basically, so I, I feel good about it. Plus, today when I woke up, the first thing I saw on my feed on Instagram was a girl cutting her own bangs. <laughs> so I just feel like I've been getting a lot of signs like from the universe lately on like me being on the right path in life and all this stuff. And I just totally think that that, I, I like have to do it. I have to do it now because I saw that. So I'm nervous and almost at peace and excited in a way. Like it's a big change, but because I want to grow my hair out and I'm not going to be dyeing it black anymore, like jet black, I just know that I need a change. Tried the clips. I liked how it looked, right? And I feel like when they're natural bangs, they look better than fake ones. I am obviously nervous, but I am excited at the same time because I am just ready because I turned 25 in 2022. So I am just feeling like my hair is making me feel like nothing has changed in a way because I have a weird sort of relationship with my hair in that way where it's like, I base a lot of how I feel about myself and where I'm at in life and like how I'm doing like on my hair. Like if my hair is a mess, I feel a mess. Like I definitely put way too much emphasis and like my self-worth on my hair and how it looks. I'm always scared to get haircuts because I've had bad experiences with haircuts in the past. So I am a little haircut traumatized. So um, there was a long period of time when I would not cut my hair. That's why it got as long as it did which I love, it was always my goal to get it like to be really long. So I'm hoping the haircut in the inspo pick will look good with my long hair because I'm not gonna be cutting my hair short. Like that's just not part of the plan. But yeah, basically my self-worth is heavily put on my hair. So that's why this is such a big deal to me. My hair and me are just, it's just always been like my biggest pain point, I suppose. I have some pretty good waves going when I let my hair dry naturally. But usually I'll blow dry it so I don't often have my hair like that. But that is just the texture of my hair. It is like on the wavier side. So growing up it was sort of hard to maintain just in the way of like, especially when I was younger. Like, cause you know when you're younger, like you're, when you're small, you always have the same amount of hair. So when I was smaller and I had long thick hair, like it was just like a big, I look like a lion. Like if I have a picture of myself as a child, like I'm just gonna throw it up here, like there's little me. Um, but that is basically what my hair was like. And it was pretty long, frizzy, like I lived in the Midwest. So when it rained, my hair would be a disaster. But I always wanted it long still, like I didn't even care about that. But I was just always frustrated still with it, just being like, why won't my hair look straight and soft and pretty and sleek like other girls hair and not so frizzy and big now of course i love my hair the way it is i i wouldn't change my hair for anything i'm still way too emotionally reliant on how my hair looks like how i'll go about the day if my hair is just like sort of a blob or didn't come out right like it will affect the way i feel i look i don't know there's really no way of changing that like that's just how i feel with my hair that's like my relationship with my hair that's why this is such a big deal to me like i'm doing a really big change with my hair when i have pretty much never done that i don't know if i've said already but i've had bangs before back in eighth grade i dyed my hair red um this was the first time i had dyed my hair so i dyed my hair just red over top and it was a really pretty cool like cherry-ish deep wine red and it was really pretty but then i also cut bangs into my hair once it ha that had faded and that turned out really bad i just it wasn't even bad i just didn't like it like i wasn't ready for it like i don't think it looked awful but at the time i hated it because i was just an insecure middle schooler like trying to change up my hair and i didn't like it so i always wore the bangs pinned back 
and let them grow out and I never did that again. <laughs> So that was a long time ago. So I'm really hoping that I like the change. Um, best case scenario is obviously I'm obsessed with it and I just continuously go get the bangs cut and I just am obsessed and I look like a French femme fatale with the bangs and everything. <laughs> Do feel pretty good about how I'll look because I looked online and the internet said that because of my face shape that um, bangs would probably look pretty good on me like I have like I kind of have a heart shaped face I think I mean I don't know leave your opinion down below um like this is my face relaxed I am a little nervous about having constantly hair in my face <laughs> like right on my forehead and in my eye region because I'm not a fan of that which you know could be a stupid idea of me to get bangs then right but I have to try it, I have to try it. I've been wanting to, like, over the years, obviously been so close to doing it, but then just not. So I just have to pull the trigger. I'm growing my hair out to color it a, a fun color, um, probably like in a year-ish, you know, depending on how fast I can maybe naturally take the black dye out of my hair. Um, without ruining my hair. So if I have to let it grow out anyway, I might as well cut it to be kind of fun because right now it's just sort of been the way it's been for my entire life. So I'm just beyond bored of it, basically. I am a big fan of good change, obviously. I'm sure everyone, you know, can relate to change when it's good, being good. And then obviously when bad things happen too, it's like not that bad, but anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. But getting like a good hair change is like transformative. I've seen, you know, people on the internet, like on TikTok and whatever, like changing their hair. And when they love it, it's just like the glow that they have from that is so palpable that it's like, that's what makes me so drawn to hair change and I'm sure everyone else. I don't know, I feel like I'm more fearful of it than most because of, you know, I've had bad haircut experiences, like really bad haircut experiences, like hairdressers that would thin my hair out every time I went to see them and like no, I wouldn't ask for them to do that. They would just do that because my hair was thicker and they just, I don't know, did that? I don't know why, but that would like, that like fricked my hair up so bad in high school. like. I literally looked like I had like a, a mullet with like thick ass hair up here and then like when I was growing it out all my thin pieces were like all over the place. It was a disaster. So I'm traumatized from having haircuts. But yeah, basically I'm just trying to do like a really good B right now so that if things go awry, I will at least see my face and it will be cute no matter what haircut I have. To say I am nervous um, is an understatement but I do think a lot of the nerves I am feeling is also due to excitement. I've had my signs today saying that I should go do this finally for myself. So I am feeling good. I'm feeling overall really good about it. Helps that my makeup I think, and my base is turning out really well. So I do feel like today is gonna be a good day. I do wanna keep the eyes pretty simple, but I do wanna do something that I know I'm gonna feel really good in. Cause I wanna feel relatively natural in some type of way, just because I don't want to be fully glammed when I see what I look like with this haircut. I do feel like that will distort how I feel when I have nothing on. And if I have just a little simple something going on, I'll be able to tell easier if I'm gonna like the way I look with zero makeup on. I feel like that's gonna be the real test. Like the haircut I have now, I feel like pretty hard to look different with or without makeup because my hair is just like a block of hair like it has no real cut or shape because I have some longer face framing right now but it is nothing serious but there's really no haircut going on with my hair it's just sort of long which I love so hoping that an actual haircut with bangs and all and face framing and everything is going to make me feel more, I don't know, adult put together. I feel like adult women have haircuts, like not just their hair grown out their head and no like effort put into it, at least not the woman I wanna be or I don't know. And I like like the sort of pamperingness that comes along with doing your makeup, doing your hair, picking out an outfit, getting ready, taking baths, doing a face mask, doing my skincare routine. Like 
I love doing those things and I feel like my hair is the one sector of that where it's just sort of like a blah like there is nothing I do special for it like I basically just blow dry it with my blow drying brush thing and call it a day so you know I want to have more fun with it and I feel like having a fun haircut will make it so much easier to do that and feel like I've actually done something like when I put my hair up, instead of my hair just being up and my bangs like just kind of sitting down, I'll have like a bang and like and some layered pieces to like play around with. And I don't do much with my hair ever. Like I'm extremely lazy when it comes to my hair, even though I care so much about it. Like I just like to make sure that it looks nice. I don't like do hairstyles. I don't put a lot of effort into that sort of thing. But I feel like this will motivate me to do that more. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm going to bring you along on my haircut trip. Like I'm gonna try vlogging in the car. I have never tried to do that before. So probably gonna have to leave a little early so I can set that up in my car. But exciting because I love doing things I haven't done before, especially with filming. As you might know if you've been to my channel before, I am very much dedicated to YouTube this year. And I wanna do more vlogs, especially the places I am planning to travel this year. I'm excited to do travel vlogs. And I feel like a little day trip vlog to get my hair cut will be a good little toe dip for me in doing that. That way I can feel like I'm not going to do this alone. I will have at least you to talk to. Obviously in the car today, I'm just gonna be talking to my camera, but even just talking to myself out loud that way, I feel like is going to be helpful in making me feel, I don't know, more secure, more less nervous. But I'm really liking how my makeup is turning out. I think it's very much simple, but still really pretty. And that way when I get my hair cut and I'm finally able to see it, I will feel pretty no matter what. But oh my gosh, am I nervous and excited, like I said, but oh my God. <laughs> It's just such a huge deal to me that I'm actually doing this. Like, I can't literally almost believe it. I feel like that's why I'm not even that nervous because it just doesn't even feel real. Like, I've had these feelings of being so close to going and doing it so many times that I almost feel like I'm just gonna back out and not do it, even though that is not going to happen. That's just how I feel. Like, I feel like I'm almost like not internally taking myself seriously. It's just like, oh yeah, Haley, like you've always thought about doing this, but are you and it's like today i really really am and until i'm there and she's cutting my hair i am uh, don't think it's gonna hit me and haircuts are obviously societally such a big deal and a big change like i feel like when i finally post on instagram my new haircut people are going to be shook because when i'm telling you that i have never changed my hair so drastically I'm being serious, like I have not changed my hair ever like this before since, like I said, middle school and I've been dyeing it a same regular color for the longest time so this is going to be a shock to many people I think, but hopefully a good shock. Okay so I have my makeup done, I really like how it looks, I definitely feel very pretty and not overdone, but very much ready to get a major hair change. So I want to show you guys what my hair looks like right now. This is my hair, very long. I like to keep it long. My bangs, you know, I've had, I have a little bit of face like framing. My bangs are very, very long. So I did have some shorter pieces like maybe a year ago, over a year ago now. So this is her and she is going to be getting a major change here in the next six hours. But yeah, that is what we're up to today. I am extremely nervous, extremely excited. So I'm going to do my best to vlog me in the car. I know it's gonna be dark and I only have a weird ring light. I don't have like a portable one. So there's that. But I'm gonna do my best to get as much footage as I can inserted into this video. The next time you see me sitting here, I'm gonna have a completely different haircut. So fingers crossed it looks good. So let's just hop into the next part of the video and come along with me to get my haircut. Okay, so it's 25-ish minutes until my haircut. I'm literally about to leave. It's gonna take me 20 minutes to get there and I'll get there at 15-ish minutes before if I left right now, but I'm leaving a little after. I know I look a little oily. Oh my God, I'm like panicking. Okay, but we're literally about to go do it. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna try to take my camera, like this camera, 
Hopefully, I don't know what the lighting is gonna be like. It might be shit in my car. Okay, I don't know how the lighting could possibly be worse. <laughs> like, actually, I don't know how the lighting could actually be possibly any worse. But I'm in my car. I'm super nervous. I'm literally about to throw up. I don't know, maybe I'll scrap this and put in clips from my phone. Can't go out. Uh, uh, I'm sick. Okay, the D has been done. I have my hair cut, done, and I literally am obsessed. I hope you can tell, I know the lighting sucks, but I have all these cute little pieces in the front and then my hair is literally so dark, it's hard to see. But I'll insert some clips. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you like it. Um, but yeah, I'm really so happy. I'll see you in my next one.